Helping couples all over mid-Missouri. Still want to hook up? Or at least trying to. Goodbye. Cosmo and the Y107 Morning Show's Hook Up or Hang Up. This is Cosmo and the Y107 Morning Show. You got Hook Up or Hang Up here on the radio. It's all powered by Silver Ball Arcade Bar Hotline. Cool spot for a date. Uh, if you've been ghosted after a date and you just want to know what the heck is going on, get some answers, reach out to uh, Lauren and I, and uh, we'll try and help you out as best we can. And uh, who knows, maybe set them up with a second date. Hopefully. Yes. That's the hookup part of hookup or hang up. Uh, Sam is uh, on the phone here, reached out to us, looking for some help. Sam, you are here. Now you're famous. You're on the radio. What's up? Hey, how's it going? I'm glad to be here sharing my dating mistakes with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Uh, so defeatist right off the jump. Yeah, jet. that made me. Sorry, uh, Sam. Well, made me want to hug you, okay. Sam. <laughs> uh, the brothers got a hug. Let's gather it. So, so did the date go okay, or what? W- what's up? No, I don't think it went okay. I think I did something really stupid uh, because I don't know. Lynn's gone with the wind. Okay. That sounds like a country song. Lynn gone with the wind. She ain't coming back. Okay, so what ever happened? Again. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I'm a clutch. I spilled my drink on her while we were at dinner, and Aww. she was wearing white. So, oh. yeah, the date ended early, and she left to get cleaned up. What? Okay, what did you spill on her? Red wine. Oh. Okay, yeah. Oh, boy. Listen, that yeah. might be why. So did you get a, any time together before the oops? Yeah, we did. I mean, I think we got to the entrees before I ruined everything. Oh, oh Okay. <laughs> And it was okay up until that point? I thought it was going really well, actually. Um, I, I just can't believe I botched it so badly. I thought I had it in the bag until then. Okay. And, and you've tried to reach out, and she's just nothing. You've apologized, and she's not getting yeah. back at all. Nothing? Yeah, nothing. <laughs> yeah, red wine, white dress, that that may that's bad may end it but uh i'm gonna be honest that's real bad i think sam knows that yeah. but uh, let's let's just see what's up We're, we'll try and uh, see how what lynn has to say about things and uh we will go from there okay yep Great. did your date never call back have us call them hook up or hang up presented by Silverball arcade bar with cosmo in the y107 morning show Helping couples all over mid-Missouri. Still want to hook up? Or at least trying to. Goodbye. Cosmo and the Y107 Morning Show's Hook Up or Hang Up. It's Cosmo and the Y107 Morning Show. I'm Cosmo. That's Lauren. Hi. We just talked to Sam a little while ago. He thought he was having a really good date with Lynn. They were kind of jiving. Things were going well. And then it happened. He spilled red wine all over her and she was wearing white. Mm Mm-hmm. No tide stick in your purse can help that no. situation. That's that's not gonna no. not gonna help. Um, so we're gonna try and get a hold of Lynn, see if that's why she's totally ghosted Sam. If she's ticked about that happening, or or what her deal is, why she's ignoring Sam since the date. Hello. Hey, is this Lynn? Yes. Hi, this is Lauren. I'm with Cosmo. We are Cosmo and the Y107 Morning Show. Do you mind coming on air with us today? Oh, um, sure, yeah, thanks. Okay, uh, we were given your number uh, by uh, Sam, and we thought we'd give you oh, a call. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, I'm sorry, I was totally lost. I was like, why are they calling me? Yeah. Yeah, we we could have been more clear in the beginning. Sorry about that. No, 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 it's okay. So so he told you to call me. Did he Did he tell you about how he spilled wine all over my dress? Uh, he did. He was very yeah. uh, very upfront about that. And uh, really wanted to discuss that with you. Um, you know, I mean, is that is that the reason why you're blowing him off and, and not calling him back? No, I, I mean it didn't help. No, but but that's not the main reason. Okay, so then what what would you say is the main reason? Well, he he reeked of cigarette smoke. I I I hate the smell so much. It was a real deal breaker. Oh man. So like okay. like the classic like he was outside like before the day to kind of take the edge off had a couple smokes and you could totally smell it on him. I guess I mean it smelled like he he was chain smoking and like I mean the wine was the final straw but I knew I wasn't going to call him back. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I mean I mean smoking is one of those things where if if they're a smoker and you're not into that that's a deal breaker. Like, totally. Completely get it. Um, would you be willing, Lynn, to to hear Sam out a little bit? Uh, about the cigarettes, maybe about the wine and everything. Um, I mean, I guess. Okay. Well, we actually have Sam on the phone with us. Um, so Sam, did 
did you have a couple cigarettes before your date? No, no, I didn't at all. It was actually my roommate. Um, I don't know. I tried covering up the smell before I left, but it's a pretty strong smell, honestly. And I, I took a cologne bath, but it didn't really work, I guess. So you weren't, you don't smoke. You weren't smoking at all. No, I don't smoke. I swear. Okay, but, Lynn, what are you thinking? What's going yeah, on in you, your head right now? Um, I, I mean, do you let him smoke in your house? I mean, yeah, right? Because he pays half the rent. What am I going to say? I mean, he doesn't do it in my room or anything. Sure, but like, what kind of person are you? Do you just let him walk all over you? I mean, it's in your clothing now. No, I don't like it, but what am I supposed to do? Make him snuck outside. Why don't you tell him that? I've tried asking him. Fine, I, I will. But... Yeah, I mean, that's... He should on. I mean, if you're not smoker and he is, I mean, he should be willing to go out. I mean, first even of all, in whole other rooms, like you, I guarantee everything that you own smells like smoke. Good luck getting your deposit back on that apartment too. Like, yeah. good, good luck with that deal. So, but wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. What? Lynn just said, "Fine, I'll tell him that that's gross." So, Lynn, are you? Did you just agree to a second date? I don't know. I I don't know that I would call it a date. I feel like I'm doing him a favor. Oh. Okay. So wait a minute. So you you want to tell the roommate to smoke outside, but you don't. You, but you don't really want to go out I and mean, see him again. I, I guess we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I have no problem telling his roommate to to get his shit together. <laughs> but you, you're, what I want to find out though, separate the smoking here. Are, do you like Sam? Or are you a, a, a remotely interested at all in Sam? I mean, obviously the wine thing was not I mean, done. Yeah. On, the wine was not done on purpose. He didn't spill it on your white outfit on purpose. I know. I don't want to pay for a second date if all you want to do is tell tell his roommate off about smoking. I'm right. Gonna, I, I, we want to make sure that you really like Sam. So and if you don't, that's fine. Like, don't correct. feel like you're pressured into it at all. But Right. No, I guess knowing now that that wasn't him, then it does make a huge difference. Okay. So, so I mean, yeah, I guess we'll see where it goes. And Sam, are you okay with this still? Yeah. Cool. Then you guys hang on here. We're going to get you some more info. Uh, we are going to hook it up. We're going to pay for a second date for you guys, okay? Awesome. And we'll even throw in some like nicot- nicotine patches for your roommate. Get him some Nicorette gum, Lauren. There's some in the <laughs> break room. Did your date never call back? Have us call them. Hook up or hang up. Presented by Silverball Arcade Bar. With Cosmo and the Y107 Morning Show.